What's up guys and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the PHP backend tutorial. And in this tutorial I plan on being uh, real quick about it and not planning to make it too long. So as I suggested in the previous tutorials we're trying to move from a script based implementation to an object oriented approach. And currently in our implementation we made the new class called database interface which uh, is a step in the correct direction. And the problem we have right now is that we have two script files. We have the index.php uh, file, which does all the routing. And then we have a connector class, which uh, creates a connection to the database. In my implementation, it looks like this. And by the way, I noticed that also I couldn't use localhost here. I was um, first to use uh, localhost with the IP address instead, like, like this, and also the specify the port number. And what I want to do is I want to take this function. This is not used, by the way, so this can be ignored. And what I want to do is I want to use this function in the database interface, but I want to use it in a controlled way. And what I mean by that is uh, we want to have something called encapsulation, which is really a big thing when it comes to object-oriented approach. So we want to restrict access to the lower levels, the details. You want to build up abstractions to the details so uh, that you don't make any mistakes because it's super simple to make mis mistakes when it comes to details. You want to model abstractions, not details. And in the current implementation, you could, this is this is abstractions, by the way, and you could potentially, you could create another connection in here and use a connection from the connector class and work with details mixed with abstractions that we have here, which is kind of a bad thing because you might have logic in your classes that uh, validates the date that you're working with and all kind of logic that should be abstracted away from you when you use the interfaces, which this is. This is an interface to the class. And in order to do it, you need to restrict access to the database. Uh, and a real simple way to do it in our case is to let the database interface be responsible for the connections to the database and not exposing it globally like we do at the moment. So I'm gonna to go to my connector class and I'm going to, to copy paste my connection to my database. This might be different for you, so you need to make sure you have the correct stuff in here. And in here, I wanna create a constructor for the class. And the way it looks in PHP is like this. Kinda of looks a little bit strange if you compare it to other languages, but uh, and also this is, I like to keep the braces up here. So this is the constructor for, for the class. And in here, I basically want to do this. But this uh, MySQLi connection, it, it returns a variable that I need in here. This is how I did before. So I need this part here. And the way I need, uh, need to do it now, I need to store the instance within the within the class. So I create a private um, a private variable here called con, and the private uh, here will restrict it from access outside the class. So I want to do something like this. I want to store it in this variable, but in PHP, I need to also type this and then arrow connection. So this is referring to the class and it's going to be stored in here. So this will enable me to create a new connection whenever the in class is instantiated and it'll be stored in this variable right here. So this can be removed right now. And instead of getting it from the script, I'm going to use the, the private variable in here. So I do like this, and now it should be working. And it is, but just make sure 
that it's working as expected. We need to do some cleanup as well. So this file right here can be deleted now. And uh, it should still work. It might complain because I'm including it in the index.php file. Uh, so it's complaining that it can't find it in here, which uh, is fine because I don't need to include it in, in here anymore. So I try to run it again and you can see it works as uh, expected. So we did some cleanup and also uh, I don't like the syntax in here. This is unnecessary, of course. You can just use it in this way instead. So it comes a little fewer uh, lines of code. And we test it again. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Okay, so now we encapsulated the whole functionality within the class. So the database interface is responsible for the connection to the database and it keeps a variable to, to the connection within itself. So uh, thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.